What do you think caused your tinnitus in the first place? Um, it was definitely in the military. Okay. When uh, we were on a drill and uh, there was a lot of shooting going on and it was dark and it was whispering commands and, and all of these things. Um, and I guess I, I just messed up. I should have put in the earplugs, uh, but I, I didn't. Uh, and, um, and the military didn't have any procedures for it, clearly, so... so so, uh, yeah, that's what happened. And, and so how, how do you feel about that? Does that make you angry that they didn't have procedures? Does it make you angry that you didn't put the earplugs in? Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. It makes, it, it makes me wish that it was different. Okay, it makes you wish that it was different. Realistically, is there anything that you could have done about these earplugs? Could you, I, I, I was not in the military, so <laughs> I don't know, but let, I'm asking you this question. Could you have stopped the drill, said to your staff sergeant, excuse me, I need to put the earplugs in? Is that a possibility? I guess not. It, I, I didn't do it <laughs> because uh, I, don't, I don't even remember if I thought of it at the time, but, but I didn't do it because it was, like I said, it was dark, it was whispering commands, we were like, okay. um, shh. And, and there was no time to uh, <laughs> stop. Well, but, I need to put my But even if there was time, you, I mean, that seemed, it's, from what you're saying to me, it sounds like you really didn't have control over that. No. You really couldn't have done anything about that in that situation, correct? No, probably not. Okay. Because I think it's important that you don't blame yourself for having tinnitus. Mm. I mean, you know, frankly, while the tinnitus very well may have been related to your military exposure, the fact that you have some hearing loss also may be, and, and again, the hearing loss may have been related to the military exposure, but the, the, it is very likely that the tinnitus you have is a normal consequence of having the hearing loss. Mm. And it's possible that you couldn't have prevented that. And so I, I think the important point that I want to make here is it won't help you, I don't believe, to blame yourself for, have, for causing the tinnitus because what you're saying to me suggests that you didn't cause it. Mm. Is that correct? I could get, be angry at the military instead. Okay, you could be <laughs> angry. At, all right, well, let's, let's go to that one. So you, you, and you're right. You could be angry at the military instead. How does it help you to think about that the military caused you this problem? It angers you, I assume? Mm. It doesn't help me. It, it's just uh, makes the problem bigger, I think. But it's difficult not to. Okay, but it, but it does make the problem bigger yeah. if you blame the military, so. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's constantly in my mind then. Uh, so, okay. So whenever I, I think of it, whenever I think that I'm, I think of the, the event and I'm angry with the military or mm -hmm. I'm angry with myself, it, enhances the enhances. tinnitus feeling. Okay, yeah. and, and that's a good point. I'm, I'm glad you, you were thinking along those lines. So what is an alternative thought that we can, that is possible to put in the middle here that would make you less angry? That um, there's nothing I can change about it. Yeah, what's done is done. What's perhaps, done is huh? done, yeah. Yeah, and that it's time to move on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. I, I think that that's pretty realistic also.